All right, what's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. And today we're going to be talking about that global data download that happened either last night or this morning, depending on your time zone. And we actually learned a lot of new information about the upcoming celebration on global that I'm personally super, super excited for. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. You know what, actually, before we talk about the new units, I do want to issue a quick apology to you guys for giving you the wrong release date for the Fizz Beerus banner. In my previous videos, I did say that Fizz Beerus was coming on June 4th, which was the date that a lot of people last week had told me he was coming. But clearly that was wrong because today is June 5th and he's still not here yet. So the actual release date is June 7th at 11.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or June 8th at 2.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, so still pretty close, about two days away, but the original date I said was wrong. So I do apologize for that. That's my bad. And uh, with that out of the way, let's talk about all the new stuff. All right, so of course, we have the Fizz Beerus here. We also have the SDR Weiss who's coming with the Beerus banner. And this dude is pretty freaking awesome. If you guys want to know what he does, then go check out my global preview I made a couple days ago. And uh, we also have the new free to play Int Godku that awakens from the Int Super Saiyan Goku from the Battle of God story event. And uh, this Godku awakens into another Super Saiyan Goku. But honestly, the most exciting thing to me is that we finally have a farmable free to play god coup the thing that sucks is that the timing didn't really work out that well since this dude would have been a lot more useful if he had come out like two weeks ago with the int lr ui goku banner right we're not int str lr ui goku banner because you could have used him to farm the super attack for the lr ui but I mean, it is what it is. I mean, in the future, I'm sure we'll get more God Kus, and I'm sure a lot of people still need to farm up their God Ku super attacks for like the AGL one, the STR one, so on and so forth. So it's fine. It's just, it would've been nice to get this at the same time as the LRUI Goku, right? And uh, we also um, are getting a new Prime Battle LR, which I personally did not see coming. I mean, Maybe I should have, maybe it would have made sense anyways, but we're finally getting the Fizz LR Prime Battle Krillin, and this dude is awesome. Alright, he is a killer in uh, the World Tournament, definitely a unit that was made for the World Tournament, but he's also good for a lot of other events in this game, and uh, I just can't wait, man. I'm gonna farm this guy first day. Alright, first, I, well, I'm, we're gonna be farming him first day, I don't know if we're gonna finish him first day. But first or second day, we will finish him with the LR cell. I did slack a bit, but I am a lot more excited for this LR Krillin. So we're definitely going to get him done, get all 777 medals ASAP, and uh, take him on the next World Tournament, which, I mean, with Krillin coming, I think it's very likely we will be getting another World Tournament before the five-year anniversary. So we'll actually get to use him on his best mode. So that's going to be pretty exciting. And uh, we're also getting some awakenings here. So we got the Dokkan Awakening for the Tech Support Cell, as well as the Tech Support Tien. And this dude, I mean, he was already good for the Goku and Frieza, right? Before uh, he got the Dokkan Awakening. But now he's just going to make them... I mean, they were already busted, but like, it's going to be another level of busted with this dude's Dokkan Awakening. So, we'll take a look at the Awakening details for these guys. Uh, we're going to take a look at the Krillin, as well as a new Extreme Z Awakening. So, the next Extreme Z Awakening coming to Global is officially going to be the Int uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Alright, so a lot of stuff to cover. Let's just jump into it. Let's start here with the Krillin first. And uh, this dude's leader skill is Earthlings, category key plus 4, HP, attack, and defense plus 150%. So, first thing you'll notice is that this is a really, really good leader skill, right? Really, really good leader skill for a free-to-play LR. But then you take a look at the Earthlings category, and you're like, oh, I get it now, because this category sucks. <laughs> This is legitimately one of the worst categories in the entire game. Um, I mean, you can still build like a half decent team with it, but honestly, like, I don't see anybody really running this too much. 
Um, it's a nice like niche category to have in the game, but it, it really sucks. It really does. So um, yeah, that explains the awesome leader skill for a free to play LR 150%. I don't think we've ever seen for a free to play unit, but uh, yeah, the Earthlings category really really bad. Uh, super attacks. The 12 key raises attack and causes colossal damage to all enemies with a medium chance of stunning them. So this is why this dude is so good for the world tournament because he raises attack, attacks all, and also has a medium chance to stun, right? And the 18 key raises attack and defense and causes mega colossal damage. And his passive is key plus 3, defense plus 30%, attack plus 20,000, or did I say 30%? Sorry, key plus 3, defense plus 30,000, attack plus 20,000 when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack plus 20,000 if it is an ultra super attack, plus an additional key plus 3 when facing only one enemy, attack plus 10,000 at the start of the turn per existing enemy when facing two or more enemies, count starts from the second enemy and launches an additional super attack when facing six or more enemies. So uh, basically, I mean, there's a lot to break down. Essentially, he gets key plus three and defense plus 30,000 unconditionally. That's just always gonna be there. And then when he performs a super attack, he's gonna get attack plus 20,000. If it's this ultra super, it's gonna be attack plus 40,000. And if, you're, if he's facing only one enemy, he gets an additional key plus three, right? But if you're facing multiple enemies, like beyond the two, and he's getting an additional attack plus 10,000 for every enemy beyond the second one. And he's also launching an additional super attack when facing six or more enemies, which of course would be the case in World Tournament. So he's getting a ton of attack. He's getting double supers in World Tournament. This is why people say he is a unit that was made for World Tournament because he literally is, man. His entire kit is geared towards World Tournament. But at the same time, um, he can still hold his own on like you know, events where you're facing one enemy because he still gets some additional buffs, right? Links, Z Fighters, Turtle School, Courage, Best Buddies, Rebel Duo, Shattering the Limit, and Legendary Power. And categories are Full Power and also Earthlings. Um, let's see what else there is to see here. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, Krillin is awesome. Krillin is really, really, really good. Um, I mean, I guess the only issues with him is that his links are a little bit uh, iffy, right? Like best buddies, courage, uh, turtle school. These are not links that you would really get with a lot of your, you know, total combat units, a lot of your summonable units, uh, a lot of the top tier units in this game. So he might have some linking issues, but he does give himself up to six key, right? So um, that does help a lot, right? With the key issues. So yeah, I love this unit. I can't wait to farm him, be there for the streams. I'll definitely be doing them. So there is one. Next up we have, oh, that's the Earthlings category, Trash. And <laughs> let's talk about this Tien. So the tech support Tien, obviously from the uh, tech type banner, which will also be coming back to global. And uh, his leader skill is Q plus four, super tech Q plus four, HP attack and defense plus 120%. Super attack is Neo Tri-Beam, causes supreme damage and greatly lowers attack and defense. This passive is Q plus three, for tech types plus an additional attack and defense plus 50 percent for super tech types and then randomly changes key spheres of a certain type tech excluded to tech key spheres and then attack and events plus 20 percent per key sphere obtained so uh pretty standard honestly right for support awakenings like all the other ones have had pretty similar details with a few minor changes and uh, this dude is awesome just like all the other ones his links are z fighters crane school uh, Cold Judgment, Rival Duel, Experienced Fighters, Orbit of Flash, and Shattering the Limit. Moving on to Cell now. Uh, Extreme Tech, Q plus 4. HP, Attack and Defense, plus 120%. Super Attack, uh, causes Supreme Damage and greatly lowers Attack and Defense. And his passive is Tech Types, Q plus 3, plus an additional Attack and Defense, plus 50% for Extreme Tech Types. And randomly changes Key Spheres of a certain type, Tech Excluded, to Tech Key Spheres. And Attack and Defense, plus 20% per key sphere obtained. Links are Messenger from the Future, Big Bad Bosses, Attack of the Clones, The Wall Standing Tall, Nightmare Brutal Beatdown, and Shattering the Limit. It's gonna be a lot of fun to run these guys, man, so I can't wait to test these guys out, especially the Tien with the uh, Goku and Frieza. So, supports right there. And lastly, we have the Extreme Z Awakening for the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, 
which is dropping on global on June 15th, which is about 10 days from now, right? Is leader skill after Extreme Z Awakening is int types key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 120%, super attack is uh, immense damage and raises attack and defense for by 50% for three turns. And his passive is extreme class attack and defense minus 20%, that's extreme class enemies, and high chance of stunning the enemy when attacking extreme class enemies. Attack plus 120% and Realm of Gods category super class allies defense plus 50%. So this dude is a little bit unique, right? Like he has some interesting mechanics. He actually kind of reminds me of the uh, tech fusion Zamasu where he debuffs extreme class enemies and basically just is extra good against units that are extreme, right? So minus 20% attack and defense for extreme class and high chance of stunning extreme class and then he gets 120% attack to himself and he also will buff Realm of Gods category super class allies by 50% defense and uh, he's also of course raising his attack and defense by 50% for three turns when he's super. So if you stack that three times, that's gonna be a lot of additional attack and defense. Like that's gonna make a huge, huge difference, right? His links are Super Saiyan, oh actually, I mean they stay the same, but I'll, say, I'll read them again. Super Saiyan, Saiyan Warrior Race, Warrior Gods, Prodigies, Royal Lineage, Prepare for Battle, and Fierce Battle. The categories, Realm of Gods, Pure Saiyans, Future Saga, Time Travelers, Vegeta's Family, Sibling Spawn, Worthy Rivals, Bond of Master and Disciple, and Exploding Rage. So a total of nine categories. Exploding Rage, by the way, is the new category that uh, Fizz Beerus brings over to Global, right? So. There you go, guys. Extreme Z Awakening for the Vegeta 17,316 attack at max potential and 17,133 HP and 11,259 defense. So those are his max EZA stats. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's all the information we currently have about the upcoming celebration. The only thing that's missing here is a confirmation for a world tournament, but I, I feel like it's likely we'll get a world tournament i mean i don't know for sure so don't necessarily take my word for it but i think there's a good chance we'll also be getting another world tournament with the celebration at least i'm hoping fingers crossed i mean usually i hate world tournaments but it's just been such a long time that i'm actually kind of missing it i'm actually kind of missing it didn't think i would actually say that but i am so yeah hopefully world tournament but we got the eza for vegeta we got the awakenings for the tech supports as well as of course as the tech banner coming back and uh, we also have the prime battle Krillin and Beerus and Whis and this will pretty much take us into I mean not necessarily the five year I mean there's gonna be like maybe a week where there's just nothing between the end of this celebration and the beginning of the five year anniversary because I don't see this celebration going for three weeks actually the anniversary is about a month away right so if this starts in three days then this celebration is not going to go for a month unless they give us a part two i don't know we'll see but at the very least this is what we're getting in a couple days in about two days from now so get excited guys let me know in the comments down below if you're hyped for krillin or Whis or beerus or the tech supports either way I want to hear your thoughts and that is the video guys thank you so much for watching as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you're gonna stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.